The useful idiocy of Donald Trump. All right, we're just going to skim it because we only have so much time left. But here we go. Um, and uh, this is a repost. This was actually written in January 28th, 2018. It is still just as valid right now. The problem with Donald Trump is not that he is imbecilic and inept. It's that he has surrendered total power to the oligarchic and military elites. They get what they want. Trump, who has no inclination or ability to govern, has handed the machinery of government over to the bankers. Once democratic institutions are hollowed out, a process begun before the election of Trump, despotism is inevitable. The press is shackled, corruption and theft take place on a massive scale. The elite's moral and intellectual vacuum produce Trump. They too are con artists. They are slicker than he at selling the lies and more adept at disguising their greed through absurd ideologies such as neoliberalism and globalization. But they belong to the same criminal class and share many of the pathologies that characterize Trump. Trump, backed by the most retrograde elements of corporate capitalism, including Robert and Rebecca Mercer, Sheldon Adelson, and Carl Akan, is the fool who prances at the front of our death march. The elites in dying cultures turn everything into a commodity. The elites, lacking a vision beyond satiating their own greed, revel in the intoxicating power to destroy. As long as Trump serves the interests of the elites, he will remain president. If for some reason he is unable to serve these interests, he will disappear. The Russia investigation launched when Robert Mueller became special counsel in May, which appears to be focused on money laundering, fraud, and shady business practices, things that have always characterized Trump's financial, un financial empire, is unlikely to unseat the president. He will not be impeached for mental incompetence over the emoluments clause or for obstruction of, ju of justice, although he is guilty on all these counts. He is useful to those who hold real power in the corporate state, however much they would like to domesticate him. This is a really important part right here, guys. Trump's bizarre ramblings and behavior also serve a useful purpose. They are a colorful diversion from the raising of democratic institutions. As cable news networks feed us stories of his trice with a porn actress and outlandish treats, the real work of the elites is being carried out largely away from the public view. Boom. If you suffer from Trump derangement syndrome, read this article as many times as you need to. If you suffer from Trump denial syndrome, Read this article as many frickin' times as you need to. Trump derangement syndrome are the people that think everything was hunky-dory and then Trump got here. No, the elites have been doing this for a long time. Trump is their, is their idiot in the front. That's what Trump is. And he lacks their subtlety. That's why people hate him. And he serves as that ideal distraction. While everyone is uh, amplifying all of his buffoonery, the real work behind the scenes is going on. That's why Trump derangement syndrome is dangerous. Incrementalism is dangerous. Blue no matter who is dangerous because sometimes they're serving the same people. They're just more subtle about it. Trump's policies are just Republican policies, nothing more. The same Repo Republican policies that a lot of the Democrats passively go along with. Or don't resist when they actually could. If you suffer from Trump denial syndrome, there are point after point after point in this article that indicates, yes, he is part of that same elite system that you're against. No, he is not an outsider. And you have a level of naivety that is, that is groundbreaking. I mean, quite frankly, why would you expect some plutocratic rich person TV host to be some outsider. And I know some people really bought that because they were so desperate. And, you know, I'm, I'm not trying. But it's time to admit you were wrong. If you have Trump denial syndrome, it's time to admit you were wrong. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron.